Hey you guys, what is up? Tyler Orioles Rock 50 here, bringing to you some SAS Zombie Assault Tower Defense. Um, this is a game that has not seen the light of day yet on my channel, but I thought I'd decide to bring it out. It's a game by Ninja Kiwi based off the flash hit SAS Zombie Assault 3. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, play the new map that came out. That's the main reason I'm making a video. That came out with a new map. So this is literally just gonna be like kind of just a playthrough. Uh, just to see what it's like, see if you guys enjoy SAS Zombie Assault Tower Defense. I'm probably just going to start off with uh, Normal. Just because I haven't tested this map or tested anything out yet. Just want to start with Normal. But eventually, as things go along, I'm going to have like walkthroughs for Elite and Nightmare as well. So hopefully, I mean, this can serve as a walkthrough. Although, to be completely honest, I don't know the difference between, uh, well, uh, Normal, uh, Elite, and Nightmare. Besides the fact you... Uh, have more lives than normal and less waves. I don't know if there's any difference in the tower costs or anything. Um, so what am I gonna do? All right, here's an idea. I'm gonna start off with two of these Vicar's turrets right here, kind of like this, and I'm going to have sandbags kind of here blocking off this area. Hmm, seems smart, kind of. So they have to get through the sandbag to uh get past so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the sandbags up to 1-1 one, one. so they have the uh, tougher sandbags and integrated barbed wire so they can damage the zombies and you know be tougher I get hurt from the best however I guess I know some of them are actually chopping at my towers which is not cool I guess I'm gonna have to sandbag those up too there we go now we're completely safe so let's go next thing I want to do I'm gonna want to upgrade my uh, vicar's turrets a lot Hopefully I can get them up to reasonable levels, but I'm going to kind of upgrade them simul simultaneously. I'm not going to make one completely overpowered than the other. Not the best idea. So here's the thing with SAS Zombie Assault Tower Defense. You get, like, money for starting around early, but you have to, like, be really quick about it. If you do it, like, right away, you get 50 cash, but if you, like, wait the slightest bit, you'll get slightly less. So it's actually incredibly hard to do a walkthrough on here. If I end up do doing a walkthrough, I'm probably just going to end up, like, um you know waiting all the rounds out just so it's less uh um necessary for you guys i guess i gotta remember to stop a uh, double tapping space so i actually don't really need to do that so i got four sorrow grenades from the drop not the best but heck i guess it could come in handy for some of the tougher stuff i'm gonna save now and then just in case um and now i have two of these whatever they're called i actually did not see what they were called but they appear to be doing good for me vicar starts are very very good starting out towers i would definitely recommend them Deferent, deferent, recommend them to start off with. I have all of the um, uh, the paid for upgrades, so I mean I have everything I could possibly unlock. And now I got my first um, aerial denial weapon system. Th that is a very actually very strong tower. Oh look, a bloater. Uh, yeah, on wave ten comes like a bloater. Uh, oh, two of them actually, maybe three. Yeah, they're these big fat disgusting things, and they shoot up and they spawn worms when they are destroyed. So that kind of stinks. But I'm going to hopefully get two of those. Oh, look, more cyber grenades. Like, I need more. Hooray. Um, I guess you guys haven't caught on already, though. Um, this is a live commentary, so, I mean, it's going to be a bit longer than, if it, than like, any other walkthrough. But whatever. I don't know. But now I'm going to get my uh, uh, turrets up to 3-2, each of them. So they have extra range and, like, a lot of damage to them. 3-2 uh, Vickers turret. Very, very useful. I would definitely say, especially for starting out. Now what I'm going to want to do... Um, maybe I'm gonna get like a special turret to flame. Uh, flame turrets are definitely really good uh, to get. I recommend it. I'm gonna get one just right smack in the middle. Can these guys reach? They can back it up. So I'm gonna upgrade, get that to flame as soon as I can. All right, these guys are shadows. These guys can fly over barricades, but I have so much firepower, I don't even need to worry about it. Um, so I have my special turret. It's very special. Um. It uh, was an orphan, and it just wasn't loved as a child, but that's all right. You know, everybody is special. So now I have it's like uh, another upgrade where it's shooting like a hydrochloric acid, I think. I don't know. It, it's some kind of freezy acid which freezes the zombies. However, it kind of stalled it around. This is taking forever. All right, cool. It's actually pretty powerful. Um, yeah, that just does a lot of area damage. Now I'm getting the acid, which... Uh, does even faster damage and next up is the flame turret which when I get that that will just be over overpowered so much area damage and splash damage stuff um, so yeah here's another thing about this game you can't dilly dally forever you only have like 20 seconds maximum uh, between rounds so I mean 
Do everything you need to as quick as you can. Oh, crap. Clowns. Um, not good. Not good. Not good. No. Don't get back here. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, what that got by? It didn't even cost me a life. But what the crap? Oh, clowns got... Okay, I noticed it was clowns. I actually really hate those clowns. Because they, it, like, it explode when they die. And that's not fun to deal with. But anyways, I just got the, um... Uh... The flame turret. So now, I mean, I'm set there. Now what I'm doing, I'm just getting all my uh, barricades up to 1-1 one, one for extra protection. And then I'm going to get this to overdrive so it shoots even faster, I believe. Yeah, it boosts the attack rate. I'm going to see how much a difference this makes. Oh, yeah, look at this. Rave 23 already. That's not bad. Um, what am I going to get next? I think I'm going to get a um, another flame turret. Then I'm going to go for a lot more. Then I'm going to go for a Zeus exclusion zone. I'm going to plan on upgrading those to the Zeus so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this guy right here. So the zombies actually have to go around him. <laughs> One uh, major thing about this game is creating a maze for the zombies. That forces them to travel the longest path possible. However, I see they're just going for brute force, I guess. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to have uh, a couple extra barricades. So they have to actually eat through those too. Get some of these. There we go. 3-2 now. So I'm just plugging away at them. Oh gosh, this is a Devastator. My first ever Devastator. Well, first Devastator that you guys have seen. And it took out one of my special turrets. No, he's no longer special. Actually, when I bought him, he wasn't special because there's two of them. But um, yeah, that took him out. The Devastators are very, very strong. What I do like about this game, your towers get attacked. I mean, it, nothing's ever safe. I mean, unlike in Blue Star Defense when everything is safe. Anyways, here we have a bunch of Mashmukas. Here I would just spam grenades on them. Um... Yeah, this actually seems to be working out decently. Oh, oh, holy crap, I have so much money. I have $10,000. I'm going to upgrade this to uh, 4 1, and then I'm going to get each of these to Zeus Exclusion Zone. Uh, much more range and like four times the uh, popping, or at least twice the popping power. I'm not sure the exact numbers. But um, yeah, I'm pretty safe right now. Now, what I'm actually going to do, um, actually, nothing yet. I'm going to get some few more Vickers. Um, up at least up to um, the uh, Zeus exclusion zone. I don't know why you're excluding Zeus. It kind of seems like bullying. Oh my gosh, he just took out the flame turret again. What a jerk. Haven't haven't you done enough? You're taking out even more. All right, let's um let's keep getting up the barricades then. I'm actually going to get these to one two, the super strong titanium barricades. Epic, epic, epic things to get. Definitely recommend them. Oh, you know, I need self-repair for these guys in front. These guys are tanking, like, all the hits of the zombies. So I'm going to self-repair so they can uh, regain health. Because this guy was actually taking damage from the clowns. I mean, those actually hurt quite a bit. All right. Um, all right, I'm going to buy more stuff. I can get an... Oh, I can almost get another Zeus. Um, pretty soon, though. You get a lot of money, though, I guess. Um, in uh, normal mode. I guess there's technically no easy mode. There's only normal. <laughs> so, I mean, nothing's easy in this game. Um, I'm going to get a few more uh, titanium anti-tank barricades because I feel I'll need them. I'm also buying the armor, spelled with a U, uh, for these uh, Vickers turrets just so they can stand a bit longer. And now there's, like, a bunch of stuff here. There's, like, two Devastators on this round. Holy poop. At least we got rid of them pretty quickly. That actually was pretty darn easy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save up for the Thundercat uh, Giga Shot, Giga Shot or whatever. Ooh, I got a Longbow Chopper. Chopper, Chopper, Chopper. Chopper Gunner, Chopper Gunner, Chopper Gunner. Chopper Gunner. <laughs> Sweet, so look at that. I have this badass helicopter just flying over the place and helping me out. Although he really doesn't help that much. I would be perfectly fine. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is a lot of zombies right there. <laughs> that... <laughs> These explosions actually probably helped out a lot. Wow, that was a massive span of zombies. Now there's a bunch of clowns. Da, 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 da. Anyways, I got my first Thundercat Giga, Giga, Giga Shot? Giga Shot? I don't know. But I fire super duper fast, which is very, very awesome. So I'm going to get a bunch more titanium anti tank barricades just to be super duper safe. Now I shall continue. I'm going to get a third special turret. Just right. right. Crap, I right clicked. Hate when that happens. Um. There we go. Save. Um, something new and terrible is approaching. Lock and load. Look out. Here comes the boss at wave 40. The Ruin. 
Oh no, perfect time for my helicopter to fly away. Way to go. Anyways, this guy should be an easy uh, beat. Just spam the grenades that I have on him. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> there we go. He has been defeated and Normal has been beaten. Outbreak Mansion Bront. Well, I guess that's about it for this episode. Actually, it was kind of short. Um, since I have time, I'm probably going to do uh, Elite and Nightmare. As long as you guys uh, do enjoy this. I mean, it's a game by Ninja Kiwi. Excellent, excellent game. Lots and lots of fun. And I hope all you guys did enjoy it. Please do show some support if you did. Let me know if you want to see SAS Zombie Assault Tower Defense. Because um, if you do, then I'll probably be uploading videos for Elite and Nightmare. So that's about it, guys. Have a great day.